once I got, once I finally let myself listen to the song fully, um, it was exactly what I had imagined, like just feeling like this peak of light entering into my soul and Jesus talking to me through the song. And it was, yeah, it was just like super unfair. <laughs> I feel like you guys baited me. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We have another behind the scenes of our latest song, Nowhere Without You, in case you haven't heard it yet. Nowhere Without You has been out since February 11th. You can check the link in the description if you wanna hear the song. Today, Mona and I are joined by Marielle, who is our artist. So she worked on the album art. If you remember the name, Marielle's Field Kit, she has worked on all of my songs since the very beginning. In the last year when I started releasing music, I just had to go with the one artist, Marielle's Field Kit. She's an incredible artist. Right now, her Instagram Instagram's kind of like in the shadows and she's kind of lurking until her next big moment. One day when it comes back up, you can check her out at Meryl's Field Kid on Instagram, but she's an amazing artist who does everything from digital art, photo manipulation and all these things. And we're going to talk about the art for Nowhere Without You. Welcome, Marielle. How are you doing? I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. There's always a level of like, if you're an artist, you're always nervous, especially when you're not doing your art. When you're called upon to stand upon a stage with spotlights on your face and they're making you talk about your art, especially when you were ambushed by me with this meeting. So I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming here. What's it like working with me this past year, Mariel? Or longer, because you have been working on a little bit longer than, than a year. I think for one, challenging, extremely challenging. I've never had to like be so abstract about my art purposely. I feel like every time you give me something to work on, I like have to really force it out of my creativity. It's really <laughs> hard. I don't know. Like, oh I've, man, I look so bad. <laughs> it's so appropriate for like every season of my life, the spiritual growth or whatever, those um, periods of like intense, like, yeah, spiritual growth seasons. I don't know what other words. To describe it but it's like needed it's Amen. like exactly what I need to kind of move forward from a point in my life that I feel like needs to be shed well Mona I want to ask you like what was your experience like seeing Mariel's art honestly it was so surreal I did not know that one person can have so much talent within them I don't know how you're so creative Mariel you just come up with the most beautiful concepts and um Really loved what you did for Joe too. Like it was just so detailed. If you look through Thousand Upper Rooms, that art, everything is just so, so beautiful. It really elevates the song and the meaning in the song. So yeah, I was really excited first of all to work with you. Yeah, our first few meetings and those first few drafts you had made for us. So impressed, get this. I was so impressed. I was looking at them on the bus ride home from UVic and I missed my stop. <laughs> I missed two stops because <laughs> I was like, wow, it's amazing. And I look up and I'm like, I am not, I am nowhere close to my house. So that's how good it was. I didn't know that happened to you. I'm remembering that your tagline in your Instagram, by the way, when, when the Instagram comes out of the shadows is like, my art is my praise. And that's like kind of Mar the way Mariel sees her own art is is her response to our creator. And so for me as an artist, that's why I love working with artists like Marielle and Tim is I'm, I'm able to kind of give a prompt for another artist for it to engage them, not just, hey, do this art for me and I'll pay you, for them to actually have something to respond to the creator with. And that's been, for me, like really interesting is to see somebody else in their own journey respond to a prompt. Ultimately, it's like not me prompting because the, the song is a prompting for me from the Holy Spirit, the songs that come from a place of prayer. And so in a sense, when I hand it over, when we hand it over to another artist, whether it's Tim or Mario or, or somebody else or our photographers even, and they respond to the prompting, which is ultimately not our prompting, but it's the prompting of the Holy Spirit and then seeing what happens and then for me to like have grown in this friendship with you Mariel over this over over a year uh, and seeing you grow I think seeing you go through those seasons that you're talking about has been pretty special like one of the things I wanted to like affirm you is 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 your versatility as an artist everything that you've done has always already been like a little bit different we've given we've worked together in a way that it's stretched you in a different way each time artistically like a different skill set moving from fonts to typefaces even 
um, to use a trigger word for our friend Marielle here. So what's it like for you, like growing as an artist, like lear- learning all the different skills and techniques that you've that you've learned and kind of figured out along the way? Like you giving me these abstract like prompts and just running with them and creating literally nothing, like something out of nothing. Like it really helped me to push myself as a creative. I've never like the tools that I've used to create your art, it's like an like assets I've never used before, um, ways of creative thinking I've never had to like thoroughly think about before. Um, usually my ideas or my own personal projects are usually like literal or they're easy to kind of manifest in like a really like simple idea. Like it's really digestible. You can get it right away. Um, but then like your art is so like, I feel like it's always like a prayer, like a rendering of like my prayers too and I think that's like kind of the whole point of all of the art we work on is to invite people to look at it with reverence and kind of pray with it too and it's like no one teaches you that in graphic design school no one teaches you yeah how to like invoke a personal time of prayer by looking at art other than like renaissance religious art that you know maybe you do learn in school but other than that, it's like not as deep, I feel, mm. or not as pretentious, like, or it's not pretentious at all. It's like the art that they kind of like teach you to make. Um, yeah, it's very like intentional. And it, yeah, it calls for like a different creative mind. Like, I don't, sometimes I feel like I, it's so impossible for me to like work on this prompt because it's so, yeah, there's like no guide. There's no like, mm how-to tutorial like on YouTube or anything that I can follow so yeah it's 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 helped me a lot to grow as an artist and like as a creative missionary as well I'm, I'm just like remembering the art that that we worked on together and, and I remember when I was casting the vision for you it's like hey here's what I want to see happen like with my art kind of thing like because you know I'm thinking about I mean for a lot of people the art is just like the afterthought right like it's all about the song and we just need to throw something up there that has my name on it or whatever um but I I I just remember having this vision that like as people listen to it on Spotify or, or Apple Music that while they're looking at the art it actually draws them in and gives them something else to contemplate as they're hearing the song so there's a visual mentality and then we learn that Spotify has this cool canvas thing and then we started doing canvases and that was really wild but this is this one is my favorite so I could look at this and listen to the song for like hours, pick up something new that I didn't notice before and like think about it and pray about it and contemplate it. And just, yeah, the aesthetic, the colors and everything like that. Since you mentioned a lot of, yeah, that how a lot of the, the songs that Joe has brought you into have met you kind of where you're at in your faith. Curious as to what it was like to hear our song nowhere without you for the first time um i didn't want to hear the song (laughs) if i'm being honest um you guys know like it was or currently i still i still feel like i'm in this spot in my life where it's been really hard for me to actually um pursue this relationship i have with jesus yeah i haven't prayed in a long time since i (laughs) Like, but even before I heard that song or the song, honestly, I think I skipped through the song a little bit the first time because I was really scared that it would spark something in me because I'm very vulnerable to music. It's like one of my charisms too. And I knew that if I listened to the song fully at like one go after having not been to confession in a long time, not praying in a long time, or like even watching mass, I knew that it would kind of break me apart. Like I had already imagined me kind of breaking down and crying. It's a worship song, right? Like I, it wasn't super romantic at all. It was, I came to the song um, in fear. And I feel like once I got, once I finally let myself listen to the song fully, um, it was exactly what I had imagined like just feeling like this peak of light entering into my soul and Jesus talking to me through the song and it was yeah it was just like super unfair <laughs> I feel like you guys baited me I didn't want to hear it and then I did and then it was like ah oh, okay okay I guess we're I can't run forever I can't hide anymore if this is gonna be the start of renewed or the mending of my relationship with Jesus then sure you'll have it your way Jesus like whatever I don't care (laughs) just do it wow (laughs) oh my goodness that is sorry but not sorry (laughs) (laughs) yeah 
Oh, wow. It's so powerful to hear that testimony from you. It's like, and it's so evident in your work that like just from those first few ideas that you shared with us. Um, yeah. Do you mind just like going through, uh, yeah, like those first thoughts, those first images you kind of envisioned for for the art? I think immediately I thought of like I envisioned that light entering like this dark room or wherever I was in the dark. Um, and then it moved on to being like the sunlight that wakes you up like gradually in the morning from like a super dark room, especially at like 4 a.m. in the morning where when I sleep and then it just gradually like you can hear the birds the gradients of like the the sun coming up like I was like oh my gosh what are you guys doing this doing to me like even now I'm envisioning that moment in the bible where Jesus says to leave the coop to the little girl yeah I just feel exactly like that girl whenever I like keep playing the song especially to help polish up my ideas um for the art like I, f I feel like each time I listened to the song it was like a little nudge like Jesus be like hey wake up hey wake up and then finally like accepting that this is going to help me rather than harm me to kind of work on this project while being in like this desolation I feel like yeah I've just been greeted with like the eyes of Jesus like out of like the depths of like my slumber and like yeah my my eternal sleep yeah and just like finally meeting his eyes when I wake up and the sun's like warm and shining through the little like window that's in the background of like all the depictions of the scene helped me to visualize the rest of the project, remembering that initial idea of like the sun coming up and then, yeah, Talitha Kuhn. Yeah, I think that, yeah, that's what basically motivated everything else in the art. We've done this process a number of times. Whenever I have a song for you, we kind of go through, like you listen to it and then we kind of just start like a mood board just to kind of get different ideas. You know, it's the only time in the year when I use Pinterest is to make a mood board for Mario and um, we made a bunch of mood boards of just what was in our mind's eyes. We thought about the song and different things like that. And you came back pretty quickly with a whole bunch of different ideas and different concepts and things like that. We had some images of like like windows and like hallways and different light play and a boat and things like that. And uh, do you remember which one we gravitated on, Mona? Yeah, I think the first one was the uh, that bedroom scene and having the window and the light fled into the bedroom. And something that really moved me was like, wow, that's that's my room. That was the room that, that the Lord had encountered me in while we were writing this song. And that's the room that I'm saying that first line, like you're with me here and I love that. Yeah, it was like the image of that, that story of like where you were when the first line of the song came out when we were writing it. But it's also for so many of us in this season, these last two years, our primary place of worship has been our bedrooms. Like our primary mm -hmm. place of encountering the Lord it hasn't been a church or hasn't been like a conference hall or or like a prayer room, but it's literally been our bedrooms, right? And I mean, it kind of goes back even to the very beginning thematically of like the idea of a thousand upper rooms where wherever you were, wherever you were earnestly praising God was where the presence of God was. And in a sense, this is like a continuation of that thematic progression but um but i'd love to actually look at the the art i want to show everybody and then mm -hmm. and then we can, maybe we can hear from marielle about like how she kind of got to this finished product or how we got there so okay. so let's just take a look at it here it is so there's the art can you guys see that mm -hmm. wow again just talking about where you were as an artist and the different ways that you know we challenge you to stretch so this is obviously we we had just looked at all the other pieces of art this is obviously a, a, a step in a different direction so like take us through how you got here muriel i probably saved i don't know like 300 photos like of different variations of like window light sunrise light fog thing um and then i finally came across this photo and i thought it was so like i just like knew that it was the exact thing that i was looking for or what i had envisioned in my mind um just like the stretching of like your hands in the morning being greeted by the sun i couldn't really find any other photo that was like that so i knew because I felt something so strongly out of it. I knew that other people would too as well. I emphasized a lot of the smoke or the fog that's coming through the windows because I think it feels like or it looks like the tangible like essence of like Jesus coming into the room. Yeah, like the glory cloud, you know, the glory. Yeah, <laughs> and I think like the hands are just like so, like I could feel something pressing against my hand as well when I like look at the photo. What 
other feeling than like the touch of like God or whatever. That's how I came about the album. Again, like the journey and the process of going from the very beginning of the song all the way to seeing the art and the completed product uh, and, and all the different kind of steps along the way for me has grown me as an artist. And again, it's like, I remember every time Mona and I are like sitting in the group chat and we just like, I have something, whether it's from you or from Tim, like the next version of what they're working on, it's like the highlight of our day. Cause we like, just get so excited. And then Mona and I have to jump on a Zoom call to like, look at it and just freak out together kind of thing. <laughs> so so it's been, it's been a lot of fun and like deeply enriching to life and deeply fulfilling to like, to have worked with you. I, I mean, I really appreciate you just like being super vulnerable and taking us through kind of your interior life. <laughs> Cause I mean, I, I had heard inklings of it. Like I remember like, oh, okay, fine. It's making me pray. <laughs> <laughs> like i just chuckled to myself honestly like i'm glad that that you felt god's promptings through it and that you responded i hope we weren't too pushy on you i'm glad that the lord used this like this partnership in the gospel this partnership through art it begins kind of with us in the same way that for mona writing this song was like she needed this song like as we wrote it like we, we wrote it in the season when she needed it there's a good chunk of it that I needed over the over over the period of writing it, like up the ups and downs of, of since that first kind of songwriting session. And then the same way that it's kind of come up for you as well, Marielle, like that's how you know, that's how I know a lot of the songs that God gives us to work on our work of the Holy Spirit is because it does so much more than what we had planned for, for ourselves. And so like my, my great hope that as people are watching this, if you haven't heard the song yet, that yeah, like as you press play, like my great expectation for you is that that it would unlock and catalyze some of those your own encounters with with the Holy Spirit, with the Father, whatever you're going through. As you look at the art, as you listen to the lyrics of the song, even just the musical production of the song. I'm so grateful to have worked with you and I hope we continue working together. If people want to get in touch with you, uh, <laughs> can they get in touch with you? Are they allowed or is, are, you know, are you just going to be in your secret room and that's fine? We're going to leave you there. If you guys want to talk to Marielle or see her art or like hire her you got to get through me first kind of thing you gotta get past me um you'll find me through joseph san jose um <laughs> my art will currently exist through his platform other than that i'm unavailable at this time hey man you you heard it here first guys you gotta go through me first <laughs> <laughs> Joe is the I'm leader. honored. I'm honestly honored that. It, wow. Well, thank you so much for working on this art. Thanks for chatting with us and for being real with us. Like super enriching for me, and I learned a lot uh, about this process. Even though we've been working on it, like I learned a lot through this conversation. Thank you again, guys. If you still haven't heard the song, check it out. Um, it's out on all platforms: Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you listen to music. Nowhere without you. Check out the link in the description below if you want to watch more about what's going on with the song. There's gonna be song tutorials, more behind the scenes. We've got a performance video, a music video, the works, just every every angle of this song that we wanna unpack. It's coming out on this YouTube channel. And so if you wanna keep seeing it, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video if you loved it, and make sure you hit the bell button to get notified every time something new about Nor Without You comes up. Thank you so much, guys. We will see you later. Woo.